Morning world. We're hunting bunny one is. Rabbits. Where's the rabbits? <laughs> you ready? Rabbit. Where's he? Where's the rabbit? Where's he? Where's he? Where's he? Go get him! Come on, go get him! I don't actually think she found anything because there's no barking. <sighs> it keeps her happy. I saw him, sheared him. Okay, well, the lads have made a little hole in the log heap, but bearing in mind, if you remember what it looked like the other day, I've already taken, I think, a dozen bags in the barn. They've cut another four out of it, and there's still a fair heap there, so there's probably another 20 bags in there, which is great for me, because it's something for the guys to do um, if we get a bit thin on work um, and it pays the wages. So where's she gone? So I don't know if she's arrived yet, but every year we have a mallard duck that lays her clutch of eggs on top of our bales. So we're going to have to feed some of our bales soon, so it won't be long before I have to get up there and just find out if she's there before I take some of them down, because I don't want to be smashing her nest. I have to work round her. But every year, she comes down. I never catch her with the ducklings chucking themselves off the top of those uh, bales, because they all throw themselves off those bales, um, and then she makes her way off down to the stream. Go this way, though. So what have you got in there? You've got enough to last you the rest of the day. Oh, I hate seeing a mucky like that. But it's right on the thing of, is it worth mucking them out today or not? I don't think it is. Come on. Uh, the cows have got enough grub because I fed them last night. But what I might do is uh, give this lot a bit of their coarse mix because that's what they really want. That's where he went. No, he went over here. He went in there. Gone. Gone. Come on. Poor little buddy, wasn't he? Squizzles, squizzles. squizzles. Their turn. <laughs> right, well, they've had their loaf of bread, but three haven't because three of my sheep have decided to go through the electric fence, which is a ball lake because I want to keep that side clean. 
before I wormed them. How long have they been out there? I will bloom in night, I expect. Come up. <clears throat> You're not supposed to be over there. How did you get out there? Come on up. Come up. I reckon you're the leader. Come on up. Come up. You coming or not? Come on up. Come up. Come on up. Come on. Well, there's no bread not coming. Come on up. Come up. Come on up. Come up. Come on in. Come up. I've lost this bat, haven't I? <sighs> so, do I change sides without worming them? I'll have a cup of tea and think about that. Right, well, I've just grabbed this ewe that's a bit lame. She's carrying this foot, but there is no redness, no heat, no soreness, nor in her joints. So I don't know why she's walking lame. I was going to come back out with the clippers, but unless she's got something stuck, but there's no infection. So that's a bit of a mystery, that is. Right, you can go. Come on. Why she is carrying that front right leg? I could see nothing wrong with it. So whether she's got it in a hole and she's twisted it because there's no, there's no visible physical infection or damage. Hmm. And her toenails, perfectly fine. They do not need clipping. Strange. I suppose this is just one of those things where a bit of time They all want to go out. Uh, well, the only thing is, the creeps up here, they're down there, they're going to get out anyway. Well, it's Sunday afternoon, which means it's time to cut grass again. We'll come to you later.
You broken down? Need any tools? Screwdriver, that'd be bloody handy, thank you. If you want to roll down into the yard, yeah, I'll see what I can sort you out with. Thank you very much, sir.